Let me do a little disclaimer. Thank you, nephew, before this one. If you have small children, uh, I don't think you want them to hear this letter in particular, all that's in here, okay? Uh, subject, oh, sexual, <laughs> sexual expectations. It's this one part in here in particular, Steve. Uh, dear Stephen Shirley, I'm a 33-year-old woman, and I've been in a relationship for a year with a man that sends me mixed signals. We haven't had sex, but he's an assistant pastor at church. I was a very sexual person before I met him, and it's hard for me to lie next to him without wanting to rip his clothes off. He decided to compromise so that I can get some kind of satisfaction. He allows me to provide oral stimulation to him whenever I want. I know that sounds crazy, but it has helped me. At the first cup, after the first couple of times, I thought maybe he would return the favor to me. He told me he doesn't do that. I asked him what's the difference in saving his soul if he's allowed to ruin mine. He went into this whole long rant about scripture, and I still don't understand what part of the Bible he was referring to. He loves for me to walk around without clothes on so he can look at me. I've never seen a man that is as strong-willed as him. He expects me to take showers with him, and he spoons with me every night that we spend together. I can't rest most nights because I want him so bad. I, I think it's some kind of test, and he wants me to pass, but... Um, I had to come, I had a come to Jesus meeting with him this past weekend, and now he's pulled away from me. I told him I have sexual expectations, and he reiterated that uh, he isn't having sex before marriage, and our relationship is too new to tell if we'll end up together. I told him to let me know when he figures it out, and until then, my mouth is off limits for his little friend. Um, he got upset and he's pulled away. Was I too forward with how I said it? Uh, what if he's the one for me and I messed it up? Please advise. Well, there's a lot going on in this letter. Uh, first of all, th this is a very much one-sided relationship with Mr. Assistant Pastor, who's reaping all of the benefits uh, that you're sowing. Uh, what is it? Uh, or why is it, I should say, that he doesn't mind that you give him pleasure, but he doesn't uh, reciprocate. He's selfish, and uh, he's trying to use scripture to justify what he's doing, having you walk around, you know, with no clothes on so he can look at you. There's nothing in the Bible about this. Uh, you know, the word speaks to, speaks to us about our bodies being temples of the Holy Spirit to keep it holy and not to fornicate. Look it up for yourself. It's in there. But um, what, what do you think is going to happen if two grown people uh, are in bed, they're spooning, you guys are showering together. Like I said, you're walking around naked in front of him. Okay, what do you think is going to happen? Everything. One thing is going to lead to another. And of course, that means sex. Some kind of sex is going to be going on. Who, who's that strong for a whole year? You mentioned he's strong-willed. Nope. I, I just think he's, again, selfish. And he's a sinner just like the rest of us. Why is, what is he doing here with you? He's being a hypocrite. He, he is singing, sending mis, mixed messages, messages, mixed messages. I don't think he's the man for you. I really don't. I think he's leading you down a path that you don't even need to be going down with all of this. Keep it real. Uh, I, I'm glad you told him about himself and please don't worry about you messing it up. He's already done that. I think he's already done that in this relationship. And that's why you had to tell him if you walk away, good for you.